Look at this garbage. Who the hell is even playing on it? Look how bad it looks. So I'm gonna fix this problem right now. You've probably heard from a CSS, right? But how do you actually import it in your Crunker? Today I'm gonna explain how to upload a custom CSS into a client. If for whatever reason at all it isn't working, please send me a DM on Discord or comment on this video what's not working for you and what client that you play on. And I will personally make a new video for that client. Inside of File Explorer, open Documents and here you will see all your documents or saved items. Search for the folder called Crunker Resource Wrapper and if you can't find it, don't worry. Just right click, click on new folder and rename it to Crunker Resource Wrapper. Type it exactly like I did and now you have the folder where the magic happens. If you go inside the folder, you'll see that the folder is completely empty. Go to my Discord server, go to CSS and here you can see these three files right here. Download them one by one. Open a new file explorer, go to your downloads and here you can see the files you just download. Drag them into your Crunker resource swapper and there you go. Now that's out of the way, so let's make a new folder and rename it to CSS and go into your CSS folder. If you don't know what CSS to use, click on the upper right corner for more CSS videos I've made. I've went to a bunch of CSS's now, so I'm pretty sure you can find one you really like. I'm gonna use my own CSS for now, it's private, but I'll probably release it when I have maybe 3k subs, I don't know it yet. Make sure to subscribe if you want the CSS to be released. This step right now is very, very, very important. If you don't do the step I'm gonna show you right now, this won't work. You need to rename your CSS file to main underscore custom. Right click, rename main underscore custom. I'm gonna say it again, but it is really important to rename it to main underscore custom. We are almost done guys, this is officially the last step. You see this bar right here. Click on Crunker Resource Swapper and now you're gonna select this pad. It is very easy, just click on here, click on copy. Go to your Crunker client, it really doesn't matter what client you use. Go to your Crunker settings, go to your client settings and search for something that is called Crunker Swapper Pad. It is possible that it has a different name, but just search for something that's in this area. And now you're gonna paste the pad we just copied. Perfect. You see this is my file location for Crunker Resource Swapper folder. And now you can just close the client you're using and restart it again. IDCore is restarting and hopefully normally you'll see the CSS working. And yes sir, it is working. You will probably see other CSS because you can't use this one yet. But again, subscribe on my YouTube channel to get this CSS. It looks really clean. I'm using default settings, my bad. But just look at the CSS. It looks very, very, very good. I hope I helped you guys. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe on the video if I helped you. And you can always ask in my Discord server if you have any questions at all. I really am happy to help if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, eat healthy, drink some water, hug your parents and have an amazing day.